Happy Sunday, all you mentees. This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition. And join me today as I take an overview at these four Marvel poster books. So, please stay tuned. Now, before we get started, a huge thank you to David Gabriel for sending us advanced copies of these poster books. And I say advanced, but because of the scheduling and everything, some of these are already out. Actually, most of these are already out with the exception of the Black Widow book. And you got to see a little bit of that back in March, but I'll look at it again. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's take a look at the Darth Vader book first. But just in case, here's what all the spines look like. In case you want to keep your poster books intact and never actually take the posters out. Now, let's go ahead and get started with Darth Vader. We'll look at a size comparison quick though. Now, before I get started, each one of these poster books retails for $24.99. And the dimensions on them are 11 and a half inches by 16 and a quarter. So this is what it looks like compared to the size of a trade paperback and the size of an omnibus. You've seen the spines, but just in case, the back gives you a little taste of what the art looks like inside. So, let's get this opened. 20 Star Wars posters featuring just Darth Vader. There we go. I'm sure you've seen a lot of these images before. We're not going to flip through all of them, just most of them as a matter of fact we're going to skip some here uh some of these have been covers for the new ongoing series or variant covers and some of them have been house ads or just uh, pinups for the book by the way each of the posters not sure if you can tell is perforated so that means it's pre-cut they easily come out as a matter of fact i got to be careful when i turn the pages because one of these could um, break and come out that's how easy it is to get them out of here you don't need scissors you don't need um to rip them out i've always loved that cover right there but now it's a poster uh, but they easily come out let's look at a couple of more and then look at the other poster books all right, one more, one more, because Darth Vader just deserves it. I mean, he is the Darth Lord of the Sith, so he had to get one more. And here's the Black Widow book. Again, 20 posters. Some of these images, like I've shown before, and maybe some of these are new to you. But yeah, back when I did um, Black Widow, there were a lot of books being released back in March when the movie was originally supposed to come out. And here, let's skip some. I went through some of the... Man, that is beautiful. Some of the images in this book. Phil Noto, his artwork. That's that's classic. Oh man, I wanna just tear that out and keep it. Is that Joe Chiodo? I think that's with Joe Chiodo. It's a good one too. Do they have any of the Adi Granoff? Oh, of course they do. Forgot I went through it. And let's look at the back. There you go. Kind of give you a hint as to what is in here. Now this one is a little bit different because this is from the Spider-Man Sony video game. Images from that particular Spider-Man. But there's a lot of homages, like that one right there, with the Spider-Man costume. It's pretty cool. Let's flip through a little. Hey, more Adi Granov. By the way, the paper quality, I mean, it is a poster book, right? So the poster is thick. It's a good quality. And let's look here towards the back. It's nice. I wish I had time to play video games as much as I used to. But somebody's got to read, right? Somebody's got to make videos. So no time for games anymore. At least long games like this. Every once in a while, I still pick up the Switch. That's awesome. Um, by the way, here we go. Here is in the back of each of these poster books, it gives you the credit to whoever the artist was. And some of these, like I said, came from variant covers and, of course, covers or just artwork. And down here are all the collection people, which I usually do this first, but this is all the people that put it together, these collections together Jennifer Grunwald, Maya Loy, Lisa Montalbano, Mark Beasley, Jeffrey Youngquist. And the book designer was Adam Del Rey, and of course, David Gabriel. And the book itself is yeah, thick. Oh man, I don't even know how to describe it. You can probably tell from here how thick it is. It's not a hardcover, 
but it is a thick board. And one that I'm proud to show off here is the Marvel Art of Mondo. Now, Mondo is just a place that has grown its own cult following. Here's all the posters that you will find in here. And they, when they have a, a Marvel print, a screen print for sale, oh my gosh, it sells out in seconds sometimes. So there's an introduction here from Eric Garza, the electrifying Eric Garza, who is the creative director at Mondo. He talks about his beginnings with Marvel Comics, how he got started and the inspiration, and then what Mondo is and where they're based out of and what they do. So thank you and a big shout out to Eric Garza for working with Marvel to put this wonderful book together because a lot of the images you're about to see in here are long gone out of print and it's insane when they go out of print how much money they go for love that image and i think this was the only one that i know i think this is becky clunan if i'm not mistaken just based on that artwork alone so this is the best way to pick up the ones that you were missing so there's a lot of, we're going to go through most of these here so i just it's 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 marvel it's, it's x-men there's a lot of x-men in here that i really enjoy the credits in the back for the artist but yeah a lot of, all of these were sold as uh screen prints they had a limited edition of them and if you look up what some of these go for it gets quite ridiculous but we're not going to go through all of them just some that's gorgeous Man, it's hard not to go through all of these just because I think there's a unique style to the way that each one of these posters looks. That is so cool. They also do vinyl. I don't know if they'll ever do a Marvel vinyl collection, but wow, that is beautiful. I don't know why, but I'm a sucker for these. Have they done one for Wolverine? Please don't tell me they have. Oh man, what man, that is awesome. Whew. A lot of these could be variant covers, but they just make beautiful posters. Now you can pick up any of these four poster books from our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you minties, Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now this is only for US customers. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that's what they look like, the dimensions of them and how easy they are to get out of the actual poster books. Let me know in the comments down below if you're picking any of these up. This, I have to say, my favorite one though is this beautiful Marvel The Art of Mondo poster book. If you've missed out on your chance to get those, this is a wonderful way to do it. And I guess a more cost efficient way to do it. Again, please don't forget uh, to hit that like, subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. We can be found on Redbubble and on Patreon. Those are great ways to support the channel if you can do so. And more importantly, please everybody, stay healthy, stay safe, and much love to all of you.